All right, in this lesson, we're gonna build our own thinking particle system to fracture our geometry because most of the time when you uh, use um, randomly distributed particles for fracturing, you're gonna run into things like that when you when you have a look here, all all of the pieces seem to have the same size, which is quite unnatural, and you have the the typical CG Voronoi look with the pieces. So what we're gonna do is build our own system for the fracturing. So when we have a look at that one here, you can already see from the from the chunks here that we have much more variation and much more distribution in the particles where they are. So we get some bigger pieces and some small, small, tiny pieces. And when you and when we let this run, we can see already here this is this has much more variation. We have some bigger parts and some smaller and some thin slicey long <coughs> pieces here which is most of the time much more appealing and looking natural for the eye so uh, what we have here is a particle based system which is running that and this is what we're gonna build up in the, in this scene right now again we have our geometry the bunny and um, we have thinking particles <coughs> change to a new layout here we can see better so First of all, what we have to do, of course, is uh, emit some particles inside our geometry, uh, but on frame zero. So therefore, we're going to take the time node, set it to frame, and the compare node. And if the if the frame number of the sequence is zero, then we're going to shoot particles. This is to yeah, and then the now we have to tell the system where to shoot the particles inside the volume of the geometry and the particles of course have to be born first so now we activate the p born node uh, only on, on frame zero and set it to shot because we want them once and maybe let's put it to 300 for now that should be enough for this test and now set the geometry and then set the position of course of the particles basically of all particles and set the position okay what we do is we get the frame number of the sequence and if it is zero then we emit particles th of uh, 300 particles of type shot so that says only once on frame zero and put them place them into the in the object in this case this is our bunny so let's see if it happens of course we have to enable now we have 300 particles inside our geometry what we want to do now is we're gonna modulate um, the particle indices so we get two groups of, of two particle groups and and they're gonna attract each other so we get some some groups and clumpy stuff therefore we are gonna add a new group here and another one name them zero and one Make them red and green so we can distinguish them better and um, therefore we're going to use the uh, a math function called called modulo which is basically divides two numbers and all all only lets the remainder of the division so we have in this case all the indices modulated by two <clears throat> means we get by two means we get here the result the re it, it the modulo returns zero one zero one zero one zero one which we then will connect to a particle group and set them in our, into our new group this is what we were gonna do now we're gonna take a p group node not the wrong one the other one with an input 
and set, get all our particles that are emitted and then set these to our particle groups but now we have to first we have to tell them where they're go gonna be coming from and we're gonna do this with the condition node the modulo result will be the, the switch condition and if the input is gonna is, is zero then this one's gonna output zero and if it's one it's gonna be outputting one so we set this here to link so we can link particle groups later and link one and zero Oops. and now this condition node sets the particle if the in this in the the modulo of the index is zero then it's gonna putting this one into group zero and if it's one it's it's gonna put the particle inside particle group one so let's see if that um, works no it doesn't why not because we set this one to two birth number I don't know why this is not working right now mm, let's see what's wrong here particle show names basically oh yeah I think I need the birth number so let's try if the index is going to be working because we don't have the number on emission now it's working but we have also a wrong an error here because it doesn't set it once but more times so okay we have to check we have to uh, do that by a, a channel which are already prepared here when we de de oops when we delete that I'm gonna explain what we do um, we're gonna need part real particle channels because cinema 4d it's thinking particles has no real particle uh, particle indices and therefore we're gonna do our own ones and um, we're gonna set an in the index number let's call it index of type integer add that and now we're gonna set this on birth so in this case this this uh, works because we have only one shot in, in, in zero in, on frame zero and then every particle gets its own index and then we can get rid of this index right here and don't use that board because this is not really working I think I never use it basically I always do it with this in this way so p get data get the particle and get the index number and now I hope this should work again it's not now it's working yeah so we have two particle groups and every second particle gets into the other group this is what we want to achieve this is working now and now we want to do our, our groups our, our clumpy with uh, stuff where we move the particles towards e to each other inside the group so we have some some groupy clumpy particle <clears throat> areas and use that for the fracturing therefore we're gonna get the PPAS node the PPAS AB node which uh, returns us two particle groups in this case A and B but we can um, of course tell them which particle groups we have so this is A and B and we need the position of course which will be subtracting like we learned in the first lesson get the math node set it to vector and subtract them from each other and then set this again as the particle velocity with a pset data node set the particle group does make a difference if you if you use a or b here and then set it as the velocity and see what happens now you start you, you see how the the green particles move toward each other towards each other we can uh, this quite fast so we're gonna slow them down a little bit with the float math node put it to vector and to multiply set a value of let's say 0 0.5 
to half the speed and now it's much more much smaller uh, 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 much slower the velocity and now we go to a frame that we like and begin the fracturing there of course we can do this all of that for the other particle groups too but in this case for now it's enough to do it by one so let's say this frame is nice where they all like bunch up in the in the head area of the of the bunny and we won't see them here only the green ones and so the fracturing would mean that we have a little tiny piece a, a lot of tiny small pieces here and some big Voronoi pieces right there and then let's see what happens go to our geo tools get the green particle group we're gonna we want to put in sometimes it's not really working yet and then a holder again for the output and the geometry is also set and then see what happens if you update that takes some seconds and now hopefully this is uh, sort of the result we wanted to get change layout so we can see it again put all the pieces into the fracture object and uh, activate all the simulations now disable the particles so this had, hasn't a, has to be done all the time and what you see now is exactly what we expected we have some big fat pieces here and some small and tiny pieces right there and some even some thin and long slices here which is much more natural than the other one before which was more regular yeah that's it for this lesson